Good morning and uh, welcome everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of the risk of in the trading. Normally we start around 10 o'clock uh, Eastern time, but today we will be a bit early uh, to uh, start. Uh, it's a Friday. Uh, what we are splitting here into three different system automated to trade. The first one is the the market analyzer and the charts. They are in conjunction with each other, and uh, those comes in. There is a new signal on the gold, as you see right now. There is a new signal on the gold. Uh, entry price eighty eight, target eighty five seven. It's all sitting there. We don't call the trade for you. If you want to follow our trades, you are very welcome. As long as you do it on a sim, we're not allowed to give you a call for a live trade. So if you would like to follow us, you're very welcome. Uh, fo follow us on, on a sim. Then uh, each one of them, you get uh, the entry and the target on the pullback re-entry, you get those numbers. Then you have the PNL based from the last entry signal. And then you have the PNL and target hit or not. As an example, ES just hit the target. The same story, the market analyzers, uh, they are based on one contract, one contract only, and one minute. Every day the same, one minute. We do not use different time frame. This market analyzer is uh, based on um, um, one minute and 150 ticks, which will uh, go ahead and show you the 150 ticks and one minute advance aggressive trader or conservative trading. And then we have the the Ninja Trader controller here is uh, doing the, the swing trading. So there is a three different system, a signal entry, uh, scalping and swing trading. And uh, we will, uh, we start covering uh, everything within uh, seconds. Uh, normally we start at 10 o'clock. There is uh, almost 15 minutes. So um, we'll continue in a few minutes. Thank you.
Okay. <clears throat> it looks like there is a pullback on the ES. Don't let it scare you. It's just a pullback. We're going to add uh, the 150 ticks and the one minute on the scalping. Then we have the whole thing here. <clears throat> For the one who do not understand the system, uh, there is uh, so many options uh, to take those trades. You can follow the signal or you can do it on the pullback. Most of the traders don't understand what is a pullback re-entry. It's been around as long as I remember for the last 25 years. Uh, that's what I have been working for many, many years and um, I never ran out. So what we have, we have an entry signal. We can take the entry signal or on the pullback, we can go ahead and re-enter the market. Uh, the automated trade only take the entry signal and the target and then you exit. As an example, this ES uh, got into this trade, the trade and hit the target and then a close position. There's a three options to do that. You can use an ATM, ATM strategy or fully automated. On the fully automated, you can uh, go ahead and uh, the auto trade will close that trade. For me, I'm a little bit more uh, like the ATM as an example. Uh, if we take the YM, it's a small trade on the YM. Every time is a different, but uh, it's already hit the target. But uh, usually I take it, I take my trade a bit up to see what will happen uh, during this time. But anytime uh, you are using the automated trade, uh, you will be exiting at this one here. If you are using an ATM, then you are in control more. And I like to be in control with the traders more. So, um, because sometimes when we hit the target, the market might uh, steam for another 30, 40 takes. Not all the time, sometimes. But um, most of the time, the target, once it hit the target, there is not much to do. So it is, uh, if you don't know, if you don't want it to be advanced with it, you don't have to be advanced trader with it. You just can uh, let the auto trade exit and uh, enter uh, the market uh, the way um, the auto trade and uh, close those positions. So right now, what we... There is a little bit, a little pullback, and now the market is fixing to um, start again. Uh, this is an opportunity for the traders uh, to start re-entering the market at those levels here. Whether you are an ES trader, YM trader, or uh, you can see the same story, you see. And uh, the YM, this is, this is the area, the pullback re-entry area. And uh, the same story on on uh, CL Nasdaq. This is your CL, and uh, the same. Uh, oops, sorry. This is different account. Uh, this is your CL, and uh, and uh, we're doing a very well job on this. So. Well, uh, in the same time, what we do, even if you are an auto trader, we try to highlight uh, when this market dive into a chop market or the market is going to be sideways, which doesn't matter which auto trade you are using, whether it's ours or somebody else. Uh, we'll let you know that when the market gets stuck in those channels and probably uh, are not, uh, it is very advisable for to hold on on your trade. And um, we do that. We, we break this uh, market in three pieces. It's very simple how we, we do that. Um, to simplify things, uh, we have uh, two trailing stops here. The two trailing stops are based on a FIPS. They're not a dummy trailing stop. 
And if you see how this EAS hit the target, so the system delivered. The system has delivered those trades and is over. Once you are trading on your account or on SIM, whatever, you have the entry and the target and you are done with the automated trading. But then there is another opportunity on the pullback re-entry. This has been with me for the last 25 years. I've seen so many junks come into this business. But this is the only thing that's been working for the last 25 years. Pull, identify, trend, pullback, re-entry. It's a simple, sounds simple, but it's been around for 25 years and I never run out of style. So even if your auto trade took out that trade and you're done, there is another re-entry point. And you can see the re-entry point on every single chart. However, sometimes this market is not going to hold at the re-entry point like anything else in this life. If this market able to break all those level, that's mean now the, the, the trading should be short. As long as this market above those level here, you should not be thinking short. And if I see anything for a reversal, I will say there is a reversal. There is a big difference between short trade and a reversal. On a reversal, you have to, there is a certain rules and not everybody can play that game on a reversal. But uh, you have to have a little more experience to know how to trade reversal. But when I see good reversal, I usually call it manually. Right now, there is no reversal at all. So how we are going to cut the bad trades? Most of the traders, when they follow system, they're telling you're going to go by the rules. There is no rules in this business. There is no rules. Because every day the rules is going to change. You have to accept the market the way it is for today. Whether it's moving, not moving, it is a good day for swing trading, scalping, or take a couple manual trading and call it off for today. So, as long as this market above those lines here, we're thinking only pullback re-entry and we're not cutting any short trades. That is going to cut off 50% of your trades, the bad trades. If you notice, the ES hit the target, pulled back to the critical area here, not once, not twice, three times. That is indicating that the system is very accurate and is doing the calculation right. In 2018, going to, uh, going to 2019, is no longer you can eyeball uh, a chart by just a simple indicator. This is a way run out of, uh, it's overdue with that. What we need, we need a system can do the math and the algorithm, even on a manual trade, not an automated trade. Of course, if you are uh, having experience, it's going to be a huge plus with your trading because you are using a machine and a human sense. But to sit down and eyeball a chart and follow indicators, and those indicators, they are affected by the bar's movement, and you are trading the future based on the past. Your odd going to be a trader in the future trading is going to be 3 out of 100. There is no way in name in God name Earth you're going to be able to trade futures and become a success future trader. And you have an indicator following the market. You cannot trade future based on the past. What happened in the past, it happened in the past, get over it. Whether you made $10,000 or you lost $10,000 is in the past. I don't need any rig head telling me what is what has happened. Every guy can see what has happened. Just before you screw with my mind, Tell me, where is this bar going? 
That's all what I want you to say. Don't tell me what happened. Any guy can see what happened. Just tell me this bar, the first bar on the right chart, where it's going. And this is exactly what we have done. We are predicting where is the pullback, where is the entry, and where is the target. We are predicting and we're not looking backward. We're looking forward. If you don't understand those words, what we are saying right now, you will find out later on in your life that it's no longer trading the futures based on MACDs and ATRs. Those, those days are over, done with. 2018 going to 2019, that trade, trading, whether you are automated to trading or a manual, or a banana trader is no longer is gonna get any easier it's gonna get harder every year is getting harder because the algorithm the math in the trading has become so much advanced that it's no longer you can rely on eyeballing a, a dummy indicator following the market <laughs> So what we need to learn, we need to learn how to predict this market and it's not Let's look at the YM uh, The YM right now we hit the target and I use the ATM strategy, I do not use the fully automated to trade If you are greedy, uh, you will agree with me because maybe there is a little bit more, you know so we want to get this little more this is your i keep get pulling the wrong account i'm sorry because there, there's cl five minutes on a different account uh, this is your cl and um, your cl is based on one minute and uh, there is a lot of potential on the cl to get to the 7240 so we will watch this one closely uh, to see if we are able to uh, catch. By the way, guys, um, for those uh, option traders, the future option traders, uh, there is two things here in the trading. Either you are technical, um, put the technical uh, side right now with uh, our President Trump is going really going hard on, uh, after the Iranians. And uh, this is a very good uh, indication that I'm estimating I'm estimating the CL is gonna hit one hundred dollars. And uh, this is uh, not uh, yesterday. I was uh, doing a little a little research, and and I I'm expecting uh, the CL by. Uh, within a couple of months, we should uh, hit $100 on the CL. Uh, so uh, right now for the CL traders, I don't know how many of you are into uh, the option futures, but um, if you are, um, my opinion is uh, the CL, it will be hidden uh, before the New Year Eve $100 per barrel. So uh, the way things is going, um, the sanction and, you know, with the European getting weak because they would like to get more money from the Iranians and uh, the, the United States is getting hard with it. We're not playing political here, but what we're just saying about the CL, the way it is going and the Chinese now start getting cold feet with the Iranian oil. So this is, is going to uh, uh, stimulate the price. You see why I don't want it to hit the target? If you are on a full, fully automated to trade, you are gone, you're done. You trade it a long time ago and you're done. But now we are getting a little bit more. So to, so to cut the story short, guys, I'm expecting the the, the CL to get $100. Uh, for the CL traders right now, this is exactly where we told you it's gonna be a little bit of trouble right there. 
exactly to the same tick we said. It's the 7233, and there you are. There is a little struggle in here. What we're going to see on the CL, a little pullback. And God knows after the pullback, I need to keep my eye. But this is right now a struggling area on the CL. I keep taking the five minutes. I apologize, guys. Uh, this is your one minute. And uh, the CL is going to be problem at uh, if you are trading the one minute at 72.42. This is where your, your problem is going to happen on the CL. So... I don't know where to put all those charts. Uh, YM, let me see what I can get you on the YM. Actually, I don't have anything on the YM, and it's going to be a very wild ride on the YM. We'll see. But it's already hit the target on the YM. And the ES, uh, watch the 2920, folks. This is your limitation if you follow that trade on the, on the, uh, for those guys have our software, they already got those signals maybe a bit earlier than you. But um, the, the target is, uh, I mean, we are already done with the target, but uh, I'm expecting a little bumper here at uh, 2815. If we, 2918, I'm sorry, I don't know what was happening to me. If we cross this one here on the ES, the second extreme is uh, 29, 90, 920, 75. Boy, I'm so glad it's Friday today. You can see my brain is smoke coming out of it and it's been a rough week, busy week. So I look forward to relax a little bit. Uh, let's see on the CL, we have uh, the CL. Oh, man, it's very strong. Okay, and we'll see what happened on the CL. So we have a three market right now. We have the... Yes, CL, YM, and then uh, ES. So we'll see what happened on those. Again, you see where is the pullback? Where, where is this market sitting at the target? And if we have a pullback, the pullback right now is uh, 1450 on the ES. We will look at it if this market going to take a little dive. Uh, the YM, we have a reversal on the YM signal. Those are, they do not repaint. And in those cases, maybe I'll pull one back and I will exit on one, you see? So I will hide one, one trade and I will exit on one trade on the YM and leave it alone. There we go. We only have one trade on the, on the YM now, so because if this ES is going all the way up here, I'm, I don't want to miss that trade. And uh, the CL, 
it's going to come to the 7240 and then you your best chance is to exit at 7240 That's all what we have for now, and then uh, we will start looking for the new signals. And uh, uh, to uh, our members, uh, I did one in the Navy, uh, is in the blue. And uh, please let me know if uh, on a YouTube, is it clear the blue one or the white one? Which one is more, uh, you can see the numbers more. So let me know. Uh, which one is uh, clearer so you can uh, read the numbers on this. Uh, I like your feedback on this one, please. Let me see the feedback. Okay, uh, we have a guy, very smart, uh, Basharat, very smart what you've done. Uh, because Friday is not uh, the best day to try uh, to to trade. Actually, it's not uh, the best days to trade. And uh, we have a gentleman. He just uh, hit three hundred sixty dollars. A scalper already hit my target on the three minutes Nasdaq. No more trading is Friday. Very smart. Have a nice weekend. Drink one beer for me, please. Mm -hmm. Good, Tony. Good for you, sir. Um, let me see if it's... Um, uh, Friday, it is uh, usually hard to trade. And the best way to trade uh, Friday, guys, um, if you... I mean, if you ha don't have too many hours behind the screen, I can respect that. If you don't have that many hours behind the screen, uh, then uh, your best option to trade on Friday uh, uh, around uh, when everybody go home. Because on Friday, this market is gonna go one direction. You know, most of the Fridays goes one direction. So around around the 12 o'clock, uh, one o'clock, this market, it might, it might uh, go one direction, either all the way up Pull back re entry the rest of the day, or it can go down and then uh, pull back re entry again on the short uh, side. But uh, doing the first two hours in the Friday, sometimes it can be critical if you don't have the eye for it. Yes, absolutely. Friday, uh, it is a, a little bit weird uh, day where everybody is itchy to go home or you know start a weekend. So you got to be careful with a Friday. You have to know what you're doing. Or, you know, I even thought uh, to 
to delay the Fridays uh, to come in live uh, until 12, 1 o'clock. But then, you know, I also thinking about it after a long week, I also want to relax uh, after 12 o'clock. So Friday is weird. Yes, it is weird, you know. And uh, you have to be careful what you're doing. Uh, for the CL, look what, what we said exactly at the number we said, you know, the 7240 and your best option to get off uh, with the, get out of that trade on 7240. Now we have a pullback here and on the NASDAQ ES Dow Jones, we have a pullback and um, and we'll keep our eye closed on the pullback here because we need to see if this one here finished or there is a re-entry point on those area here. So look, where is the ES? Exactly where we said five minutes ago. So we'll see if this area gonna hold and we're gonna have another run one more time. ES, there we go, there we go. If the ES is climbing again, and then the uh, the YM is gonna do the same story. It seems like the CL is going after the seventy two forty on the CL. You're gonna have a problem. So if you are on. You cannot enter the market anymore on the CL. You cannot trade the CL anymore. If you are in the trade on the CL, this is your lucky day. But you cannot enter the market anymore on the CL. It's too late to do that. You're going to lose. You know, eight out of 10, you will lose if you trade the CL right now. I don't care how many people are buying right now. I don't care how many people. This is technically is over. The problem is we are coming into an area where this market is going to get stuck between 72.54 and 72.44. And that is not tradable. So there is a certain time where this market is not tradable certain level, certain boxes, certain numbers cannot be traded anymore. So this is an example on the uh, on the CL. It's not a tradable anymore with those areas because it's going to be one step forward, two step backward, one step forward, two step backward. And this is not going to uh, get you anywhere with your trades. So. Uh, let's see, look, if we look at the CL, uh, we have we have 72.49, the target is 72.52, followed by a resistant, another resistant, another resistant, and now we are diving in those two yellow lines. For the ones who's following us on those two yellow lines, means there is no more trades to the long side. So it's a screaming, telling us uh, there is no more trade on the CL. This is a really critical area. And anything above this number right now is going to really make you uh, lose money. And uh, if you take a trade, you might going to make 10 ticks, 20 ticks. I'm not. But your, your trade here right now, by taking a trade on the CL, your chances winning that trade is 2 out of 10. And this is where most traders don't understand that, especially if you are trading a rank of bar, you are totally lost on this one here. And, and probably you cannot even see it on a rank of bar. But this is a critical area, cannot be traded anymore long. So right now, if you really wanted to enter this market, you need to find an, alter an alternative where is the reversals are.
so we can grab this market on the way down and on the way down it's going to cause a lot of sideways but then we are nailing it from top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top if we notice on the cl now from the last five ten minutes has done nothing now it is your best option with the cl not to auto trade either because your auto trade is going your best option in the cl if you are really getting a hard on the trade in the cl go ahead and like take a, a comment and flip it because that's what you need you don't need to look at the chart anymore you just go ahead and flip a comment and see where you want to go with it because there is no direction anymore and there is a no-no to enter a market right now if you couldn't get it from here you just missed the train you know welcome to trading you just wait on a new signal but you die you do not dive in in a high risk trade this is an extreme high risk trade i don't care if the cl is gonna go 100 ticks from here this is extreme high risk so if we miss the train we miss the, the entry we miss the entry you know welcome to trade it so just get ready for a new signal that's all what i can say to you but uh, this is this is this is there we go final destination on the cl with the system is 72.56 and then kiss it goodbye it's over Okay. Have anybody seen how many? How many of you see a chart one minute? with a bar that long one bar is 72.47 to 72.71 it's just one straight bar on the one minute is from 72.46 to 72.71 holy oh man <laughs> Oh, no matter what you do in this business, you always, you always have something in there. I'm not buying all those movements here. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. Maybe I miss uh, some kind of signal, but I'm not gonna be, get excited over it. So on those uh, trades, I don't know, I'll leave it. Okay, guys, we have a new sig signal on the Russell. We have a new signal on the Russell, entry price 99.5, target uh, 7042. Oh, the ES also went up. Okay. That's why I like to keep those targets uh, above the targets on surprises like this, because this is surprised the hell out of me. Or maybe I missed some kind of news. I have not able to read any news yet. I don't know. But uh, this is surprised the hell out of me. And... Uh, Welcome to surprises in this business. Yeah, so 
We took one trade out, and if you notice, we have got on the pullback re-entry exactly how it says, pullback re-entry. And uh, the, the, you know, I think I have a problem with the NASDAQ. My NASDAQ from my broker is not updated. I don't know if uh, anybody has the same, but it seems like it's the NASDAQ is not moving. I tell you what, I can find out from the Ninja Trader 7. Ninja Trader 7 will never let you down. Uh, uh, the NASDAQ is 36 level. Yeah, it is. 34.50 right now. No. Thirty-four fifty. This is really odd. Let me. No, they are the same numbers. They are the same number. Have you noticed uh, the NT7 uh, is uh, one tick uh, faster? I don't know. I don't want to even think about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, we're flying to the moon to the 2075. YM, YM, we're still going, and the CL is amazing. I'm really, really surprised with the CL. Okay, guys, that's what we have. All right. I don't know where we go with that CL anymore. Let me see. I have nothing holding the CL, guys. I have, I have nothing holding the CL. Welcome to trading. Thank you, Carmen. Uh, you like the background. Anybody, any comment about the black, uh, you, you, which one you can see more, the white or the navy blue? Okay, thank you, Neil. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, okay, thank you, sir. Probably Tony stayed, uh, Tony, you stayed out of uh, the game today, Friday. 
and it probably is eating you alive. <laughs> no matter what you do, Tony, this market can really get under your skin. Uh, for the gentleman, um, GL, yes, sir. Uh, the CL is on fire. I'm shocked. I didn't have a chance. I don't see any news. Uh, do you know why the CL is... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I cannot control everything and uh, update, but uh, there is something crazy happen on the the stop loss on the Nasdaq. Actually, oh, we have a new signal on the six E six E entry six six zero five uh, target six seven three zero uh the nasdaq is not moving uh mr uh... yes sir it's not uh, it's not moving there is something wrong with the nasdaq i i is not reacting to this market at all and uh let me pull out the nasdaq in just a second chief yeah you are a nasdaq trader i understand that uh man uh, there is there is no movement on the nasdaq guys if you notice uh the even the es moving and the nasdaq today is not moving and uh, we are coming my friend to the 76 47 25. this is a uh, if you notice the it's dived into a chop market here you know what i'm not gonna exit just a second. I want to see where we're going with this. If we notice, uh, Chief, uh, that the NASDAQ has not done any really magnificent uh, movement today, even the CL, ES was trading, and it seems like is a problem on the 48.25 level. You notice that? And, uh, and and it's not going anywhere on the, on the Nasdaq. Probably, it's going to be. You see, it's chop. You cannot trade the Nasdaq at the moment. It's chop. Even the ES is moving, but the Nasdaq is not moving. Welcome to trading, guys. Don't ask me why and how. You know, sometimes. You know, like what I said before, guys, the market and the wife, don't cross them because then you're going to get headache. You're going to lose. So just take them as they are. When you don't see any trades or there is no movement on the NASDAQ, move to the other one. Don't bother with it because the way this NASDAQ is not moving or not responding, I thought there is some problem with the data because the ES is moving, CL is moving, YM is moving, and NASDAQ is not moving. So... There is no trades with it. There is a certain days where that market cannot, will not give you money. As simple as that. Not every day the market is willing to give you money, guys. So that's why I don't understand when somebody say I only trade NASDAQ or CL or I mean, when you go to the bakery and buy a bread, they don't ask you if you got your, your money from a CL or a NASDAQ or if you want to buy a new car. They care less if the money came from NASDAQ or CL. To me, a trader should be a trader whether he is on a CL NASDAQ because on a certain days, like today, there is nothing to chew on with the NASDAQ. There is nothing to eat. There is nothing to chew on. There's nothing but crumbs on the table. Where today, then the YM is doing well, uh, ES is moving, and CL is just going banana. It could be Monday, the ES is not moving, and it could be the YM is dead, it's not moving on Tuesday or Thursday. And then uh, I don't believe in the just trading one instruments. You should be a have at least you're hard open to two or three instruments. So if one of the instruments today movement is not good, uh, then we we have some other potential uh, to trade. But you should not, 
you should not just uh, be loyal to one instrument or one platform or one person, you know. Uh, you know, there is no hero in this business. It's just um, try to adopt what you're looking at instead of being stubborn with one instrument or two instruments. But you can take a three instruments and try to uh, study those three instruments. And especially if you don't have a large account, uh, by taking uh, one one target, one trade on a NASDAQ, one MIM, one ES is very reasonable. And they work together. And once you learn how those day three work together, if the NASDAQ today is a flat, then we can jump on, a, we don't like the ES, fine, we can jump on the YM. We don't like YM, we can jump on the ES, you know, but uh, when uh, when when we hear somebody uh, only trade, what do you mean you only trade ES or CL or NASDAQ? There is no rules in this business. A lot of people got rich and a lot of people got broke and they're both smart. Uh, NASDAQ, no, there is no movement on the NASDAQ, guys, so I'm not going to be covering the NASDAQ. And um, so all the futures, there we go. All the future market are uh, really, uh, uh, we have 33 ticks ES, we have 60 ticks uh, uh, YM. Uh, NASDAQ is uh, just going banana here, south. A Russell, I think we called the Russell here uh, a few minutes ago. I, I don't remember, but I think we did. 51 ticks, okay. Uh, four ticks, 30-year uh, treasury bond. Don't spend it in one place. Gold, I remember we called the gold here. Uh, DAX, 47. Uh, you don't want the European piss you off on the weekend, so stay away from the DAX on a Friday. Uh, the 6E is a flat and the CL 85 takes, you know. What you see, what you get, guys. What you see, what you get. I'm going for a refreshed coffee. I'll be right back. And uh, I wish you guys were with me. We could have sit down and drink coffee.
uh, for the guys uh, wanted to uh, ask question about trading. It's not about weather or anything like this or support. Uh, if you have any question, uh, you're very welcome uh, to the guys uh, to Skype me uh, on the chat. And um, you're very welcome, sir, the gentleman from Canada. Uh, and um, for the ones like uh, to chat with me, you're very welcome to enjoy the chat. Uh, I don't look at the chat all the time because I got to keep my eye on the three different automated systems. And I need, I have some guys that don't, they're not even members. They they count on me to explain how the market, I'm not that bright to handle three chart, all instruments and chat and talk in the same time. But uh, if somebody would like to add me on their Skype, it's uh, BPT Trade Pro. Uh, so this is uh, where you can, uh, uh, add me on your uh, Skype. Okay, we uh, for the guys are trading the CL. Did we do we remember we have said um, that uh, now what? Something is okay. Uh, do you remember, guys? We said be careful on the 29, 20, 75. Okay, this is nothing but uh, bubbles. Be careful, guys. Be careful with the 29, 20, 75 on the ES. Uh, YM, uh, the target. We already crossed the target on the YM long time ago. Uh, for the gentleman from Canada, uh, Mr. C Trader, uh, we are about to get a new signal, I think, on the NASDAQ, I think. Yes, we have a new signal on the NASDAQ entry price. Uh, 652.25 target, uh, 673 level. And we have a bingo on the NASDAQ. But uh, for the NASDAQ trader, I mean, how many I can cover in one time? Just a second. We have on the NASDAQ a trader, a heavy resistant. And, uh, and that is gonna cause a little difficulties. You see this one, uh, sir, the gentleman from Canada, uh, the 56.50. So we're gonna be sit down and uh, flirting with that number for a while before we can, once we break it, we break it. So for the guys has not took a trade on the NASDAQ, you're very welcome to follow me on the SIM and to get it safe, get the trade at 60.50, Tony, if you are interested in NASDAQ. 60.50, limited order 60.50, Tony. If you have not jumped out of the window, I'm talking to you, sir. Uh, 6025, it is 6025 to the gentleman from Canada. Uh, limited order. You should follow me on a sim. I'm not allowed to call a live trade for you. Uh, guys, we're not uh, collecting any uh, information. We're not getting paid. And... Uh, you're not paying us, not even a dime. So uh, we we donate in every day, two hours, to help some of the traders and to get to know us. That's all what I need. Well, all that's what I'm getting out of it is for you to get to know me, one on one. No jerks in between, just you and I, head to head, to get to know me. You like me, you're welcome. You don't like me, we wish you happy trading. And then uh, you decide if we are good or not. If we notice on the YM gentlemen, we have, that's exactly what we have said half an hour ago. Right on the butt, you see? Okay, on the CL story, 
where we are on the YM. Okay. On the CL story, we have a very nice support time at 72.84. And uh, I have no clue where this ES is going. So you got to be careful with the... Uh, uh, look, if you are on that trade with the CL, stay on that trade. This is a pullback re-entry on the CL. The true average of price is 72.82, fair enough. This is a good potential for re-entry on the CL if you want to, but this is a high risk trade, okay? If you have not took the trade from the beginning, now you are diving into very high potential trade. Today is a Friday, okay? So this is a re-entry point, but if the CL it goes below the 7270. That's mean kiss goodbye, the long trade. And now we are going uh, to short trades. So uh, you gotta be careful how you play in your, the game on this one here uh, on the CL, uh, because it is very, very important for uh, those technical points to be clear on those. So guys, uh, so if you wanna follow us again, you're very welcome to follow us on the sim. You don't wanna hurt me when I'm trying to help you, you know, so. Seriously? Okay. There we go. Uh, we have uh, made the vote. Uh, to our traders, if they like uh, the blue uh, market analyzer or the white, they all responded to the white. So we're gonna stick to the white and we're no longer gonna be using the blue. It's over, thank you. Uh, this is uh, for the gentleman on the NASDAQ. Uh, there is no trade below the 56.25. The auto trade took that trade, but the NASDAQ is going to be flirting with the 56.25. I'm not sure it's going to be able to make it. But um, if we wanted to take a trade, it has to be below those two lines. And we have another. So take it at 57.50 long. Uh, Tony, if you are still around, let me know. If you have jumped out of the window, we wish you the best. Um, let's see what else we have. Not much. We are watching uh, the NASDAQ closely and... Um, Right now we are 350 takes based on the last entry signal, based on one contract and why we do that. You know what? When somebody have money, he never loses money in a way. We cannot say never, but he don't lose money. Like a guy is trading one ES or one NASDAQ or one Dow Jones. The reason is when, when you are ahead, when you are hedging the market, as an, as an example, if you have money for NASDAQ Dow Jones and YM, NASDAQ, ES, NASDAQ, and uh, YM. It's Friday, I apologize, guys. Um, and then you take one contract each, 
Today we have the Nasdaq did go south, you know, but we have 42 ticks on the EAS and we have 83 ticks on the YM. Next Monday or next Tuesday or next Wednesday, it could be the YM is going south and the Nasdaq and the EAS doing well. So by hedging the market and spray your eggs, not in one instrument, on three and follow the signals at 930. You know, I mean, your chances getting caught on all three. I, I will not be surprised if one day it's going to happen. All three, they're not going to be good. But your chances are not getting anything out of it is very rare. Uh, but uh, this way, uh, for the ones that are following us every day, you see the NASDAQ every single day is getting from 70 to 200 ticks a day. Today, uh, earlier today, was down 40 ticks. But if we go through all those videos and we see how many times the NASDAQ hit 76 ticks and 200 ticks and 150 ticks, practically every day. So today, the, the NASDAQ did go south, fair enough but they made a tons of money before. Look at, look at the CL. This is a very good potential re-entry point on the 72.89, folks. A very good potential entry long point on the 72.89. High risk trade, yes, it is, you know, but uh, this is a, a potential exactly entry at 72 90 or 91 this is a re-entry point on the cl because it's not uh, very far from the target so this is a high potential uh, risk on that rate Have you noticed, guys, where the CL got, uh, where the ES got stuck? Right there, at the true average price where we said, right there. So it's been having a hard time breaking those area. We'll see. If this NASDAQ to this gentleman from Canada, you see what this uh, NASDAQ right now, sir, is struggling. Once we said to call, we call the trade right above this one here. Once this bar close above this line, your stop loss, once this market is uh, close above this line, your stop loss should be 7655, right below that line, not much. So I'm watching it very carefully. By now, everybody has entered this market. We have a little line here, and then once we cross it, we are, there we go, we are done. There we go, guys. So your stop loss on this one is uh, 55.25, folks. 55.25. 55, your stop loss. On the on the uh, CL, uh, the we call that trade on the CL, and. Uh, We'll see how it's, it's going to. Act on those. 
Right now we have 400 ticks. We call the last signal was uh, the NASDAQ. We gave you the numbers, entry price, everything. And uh, right now we are 398 ticks into the plus. Total of 3,475 uh, based on one contract. Let's take some questions. Uh, sure, uh, uh, for the ones with the support, I will try to get everyone and we have a bunch of new customers also we need to do installation so we are pretty, uh, but we will get everyone, sure. Thank you, Ben. Where have you been, Ben? Uh, it's a long time. Uh, <laughs> we have one guy from the other room, they're losing their eyes off. Okay. All right. There we go, my friend, to the gentleman from Canada, you have a lift off. Are you on that trade? Mr. Uh, Trader to Canada, are you on that trade? Hi, Chris, welcome, sir. Texas. Okay, the gentleman I have not been able to talk to in six months. Okay, you're welcome, Chris. Okay, guys, on um, uh, that, who, I don't know, uh, did anybody follow on this NASDAQ, uh, Mr. C Trader Canada? Did you follow that trade? And um, uh, Tony probably he's not here. I don't know how many there is in there. And then um, we called that trade for you on the CL folks. I hope somebody got it. Well, we got you $240 on the NASDAQ so far, and there is a, bit, a lot of potential right now on the NASDAQ. So maybe, oh man, everyone has been following us today. Is going on the weekend with a very nice, happy smile. Just when you're having a nice glass of wine, say it's cold to me. Uh, okay, uh, we have a target at um, 7450 guys on the NASDAQ. This is where the major support area. So if you're not on that trade with the NASDAQ, there is a potential on the pullback, pullback re-entry at, at uh, 5675. 56.75 here, there is a good potential re-entry on this one here, again. 
CL, we called that trade for you from all the way down here, and you should have plenty banana in there. Let me see this one here. I don't know what you mean, Chris, by all this. I'm not a very sophisticated guy. I'm a very simple guy. So I try to be clear on what you're saying, sir. Um, yes, it's always working out because it is a lot of years behind the screen. You cannot just dismiss that. Yes, sir. What I see and if... Two people using the software, what I see is different than what you see or some other person have the same software. And that's why we come on um, YouTube to explain what I'm looking at, how I'm looking at, what I see on this market. And this is the best, We. this is not me, from the email we're getting, this is the best performance for free we are given to every single trader out there. And we are predicting we're not covering what happened in the past. And that it is. And then we are showing everything to the traders during the daytime. And uh, this is the entry I recalled again on the NASDAQ. And the whole purpose on that for everybody to get to know me. That's it. You like our software? You're very welcome. Uh, you don't like us? We wish you the best in your life. Happy trading. And guys, I think right now we are coming to a little jam and there is nothing actually. Right now we are 459 ticks based on the last entry signal, based on one contract, one minute, 3,900 and 3,900. Let's look on some of the trades with the swing trading. Sorry, I like to show the one minute because I like to rub their nose with the one minute. Everybody hide from the one minute. So I enjoy rub somebody's nose with it. So here is a one minute. It's not one of those crooked looking bars. And this is the one minute NASDAQ on the swing trading and does not include any kinky looking bars in it and this is your one minute on a, a real one minute on the ym and uh, this is not also one of those weird looking charts this is a genuine one minute rub your nose in it look at it so this is where a lot of people will never show you one minute because they cannot it to reveal the true story behind any software one minute and are you expecting everybody to love me <laughs> okay that will be funny and on the swing trading and this is your five minutes <laughs> This is your YM five minutes. A genuine five minutes. And this is your NASDAQ. A genuine five minutes. And if you can find anything better than that, please go ahead, run. And purchase two licenses in case if you run out of licenses. So, 
So guys, during those years, we know we have done a, a good job during those years. So 1,200 on the I think we are done with the YM. And now we are going to CL trade and yes. Oh yeah, we we have the nest. We have the Nasdaq, don't we? I think we did have the nest. Oh yeah, we have the nest. There we go. We called that trade again on the NASDAQ based on a pullback re-entry. I hope somebody got it. This is the pullback re-entry we hit on the NASDAQ. Uh, grab it, don't let it go, guys. When the market break out, we called it a trade. And then on the pullback again, we called another trade. So every single guy in this room today should go and leave happy today. So... <laughs> Good. We have some people are on the NASDAQ. Good. Okay, guys, I'll take uh, five minutes of break and then we'll continue.
whoever follow on this NASDAQ is a happy camper. And whoever follow on the CL is a happy camper and uh, CL and whatever the signals has provided for us. A little pullback, do not get worried about the NASDAQ. And uh, any other questions? Uh, I'm ready for questions. We have a free time right now. A YM re-entry. Okay, where are we going to get you a YM re-entry? Uh, there is no YM re-entry right now, my friend. It's a way down here. There is a potential on the re-entry at um, 6476. Here it's too late. You cannot do that. It's too late. And uh, we are a long way from home. So this is the only re-entry I can see is uh, 477. Any question about trading? Chris, any question? Danielle, any questions, sir? Okay, uh, we are still on those trades, so we're gonna sit down and relax. There is nothing we can do. Target hit on the CL, target hit on the 6E. I remember we called uh, the Well, Tony, I told you about it to take it. Uh, and if you rewind uh, the video, I don't know where were you. And I said, I hope you didn't jump out of the balcony or a window, uh, Tony. But uh, I was looking after you. And uh, I told you, if you rewind uh, the, the video today, you will find out. I told you, Tony, this is a chance for you to take the NASDAQ. Believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about everyone. Uh, Chris, on the 6E, you have to be, uh, 6E is not easy to trade. Uh, okay. You had a dentist appointment. Uh, okay, Tony. But uh, if you rewind that uh, video today, you see I was calling your name, looking for you. Go to the dentist or jump out of the window. It's the same thing. Okay. But uh, right now there is no more trades. So we are waiting. Uh, uh, for Chris, uh, 6E is very hard to trade, my friend. It's Forex, future. So 6E... Uh, if you want to trade the 6A, uh, put it on an automated to trade because you're gonna, you're not able to trade it with eyeball in the chart on the 6E. No more. We are in 2018. Those uh, out of date indicators, there are no longer can take out the 6E. So you are behind on that. 6E is harder to trade than a CL. ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones all together, you know, even a DAX. So for the guy who want to trade the 6E, get rid of it. Put it on an auto trade. Get rid of it. You're not going to be able to trade it manually. Mr. Daniel, question. Which support line the most important? Uh... Sir, if you right click on the indicator itself, the zone, you see all the time frames in there, and you can see which one is important. The 30 minutes, the 15 minutes, they are very important. Uh, the, uh, the 30 minutes are very important, and the 240 minutes are very important. Uh, so they're all important. Another question. 
anyone something to do with the trade and you're very welcome. Okay, you're following the 6E, YM, and NASDAQ. That's very good. Fair enough. Good, Ben. Uh, okay, guys, the target on the NASDAQ is uh, uh, 680.50, and we are going to get it. No sweat. Uh, any other questions? Okay, that's very good, uh, Ben. If you want to trade the 6E on that system here, on the price action, yes, sir, it's very good. Uh, if you want to trade the 6E on the swing trading, the one that says uh, uh, trend exit, it's very good. I have not really uh, auto trade the, the 6E. I'm not interested in the 6E. But if you are, if you want to try to uh, swing trade the 6E, uh you can uh, you can try the uh one minute three minutes and five minutes only because it's forex you know and uh, probably you will find the best setting however this is a one minute if this market moving on the 6e uh i have not to trade the 6e in uh in five i have not I have not traded this. Uh, I have not traded the six E in five years. Okay, I only take a position on the forex, and I only uh, do a hold position uh, on the forex. I don't even day trade forex. I hold positions. I still have position on a six O. Oh, um, no, that's another currency. I'm still holding position on the euro dollar 105 now we are 116. yes sir try try mm -hmm. all of them and try to make a sim account on uh, on uh, ninja trader 8 it says on it 6e one minute 6e three minutes so they will not collide with each other and 6e five minutes and then uh, Test them for one week. You cannot test anything on one day because it could be that day is not good or could be extremely good. So uh, what we need to uh, go the whole week on the 6E and then you can decide which line you want to take either the one minute or three minutes or five minutes. Plus you have uh, very nice filters in there you can use as filters as well. But um, uh, that's what I will do with the 6E, but I have not personally traded the 6E in five years, you know. So this is a long time. I'm out of uh, the 6E future. I like the uh, the Forex and uh, uh, and then hold position for a quite time. I still have the Euro dollar on 105. I still have a position on 105, you know. And probably the Europeans, they're going to fuck up with this uh, uh, agreement, uh, the sanction, uh, US, uh, US have a hard sanction against Iranians. And it seems like uh, the Europeans are uh, hanging their tongue to make money out of the Iranians. So I'm, I'm expecting they're going to fuck up somewhere, the Europeans. And then uh, <laughs> they're going to dump their uh, Europe and um, and uh, the things is right now the key in the British hands in a way. Uh, they're playing it very nicely. So uh, if the Brits uh, gonna go ahead and um, and start with the sanction, then we're gonna see some serious movement on the euro dollar and uh, on the um, uh, on the CL. Uh, I'm expecting if you are an option future trader, I'm expecting from now. Uh, till uh, the end of this year and you make my bet on it Ben uh, the CL is going to climb to the $100 per barrel and you will see so it all depends on this politics you know but uh, for you as a trader future trader you cannot follow news you only have to follow technical analysis and you, you, and you the numbers to you is irrelevant you know so for us as a future trader, 
if the CL is uh, $50 or $100, it doesn't matter the number. To us, is it from the technical side, where is the CL? From the technical point of view. But you cannot do both on the future trading. You cannot be technical and, 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 and follow the news at the same time. You cannot do that. Absolutely, you will not be able to do that. So, but if you are wanted to buy a future option, um, I might do that. Uh, uh, the CL is going to be, I'm expecting uh, the CL will be $100 by the end of this year. I don't want to talk about the setting right now, sir, uh, in the public. So uh, the setting, I cannot... Uh, comment on any kind of selling. Uh, a trade in, yes, sir. If you are following the 6E, uh, you nailed 60, you said you're following the 6E NASDAQ and YM. You nailed 64 ticks on the 6E, uh, on the NASDAQ 76 ticks, wow. And uh, uh, the YM, the YM 95 ticks. I mean, you should be happy camper by now. Uh, any other questions about trading right now? Any other questions on, on trading? You're very welcome to it. Right now we are 548 takes based on the last entry signal. We can see it on the top is 545 based on one contract based from the last entry signal it's not all day long folks 4598 i've seen this market analyzer going to 900 ticks in one day when the markets move uh it gets up to 900 700 800 ticks in one day Uh, yes, sir. I will be here next week. Next week is going to be every day from 10 o'clock uh, to 12 o'clock. Uh, I will be here next week, except on Monday. It will be for uh, a private webinars for members only. And if you don't have the link for Monday, uh, please uh, try, contact me so we can send you the link. On Monday for members only, no guests. And this is where if somebody want to ask about Seren, have a questions, you are very welcome uh, 
uh, to contact me and uh, we will send you the link if you are a member. Uh, and I like for members to ask all the questions they need on Monday because maybe the other guy wants the same setting. So we will help you and, uh, and try to get those setting. Or if you have a question, maybe the other guy have the same question. So please try to uh, register for Monday uh, if you are a member. And um... <laughs> sure, Chris, call me within six months. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Take your time, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, uh, Chris, we receive a lot of emails, weird emails, you know, and um, uh, well, we are used to that. So uh, take your time. We'll talk in the next six months. We are going up again. Right now we are 582 ticks from the entry signal. This is not bad for Friday. On the, on the Forex, this is, uh, we have the market analyzer on the Forex is based on 10,000 folks. You see here on the top, it says 10K. So on the Forex right now, we have in pips, 278 pips, based on a $10,000 account, 275 pips. 275 pips based on $10,000 account. You can use the same system also on the stocks, folks, and you can auto trade and feed the auto trade like 100 stock each or something, and then you can activate the auto trade on the stocks as well. And, uh, you know, stand sitting and looking at it. Let the, I don't know if I can uh, load it. I'm scared I'm gonna, because I'm using a lot of stuff. I'm scared I will be crashing uh, Ninja Trader, but um, because of the stocks, there is uh, too many instruments. So, but you can do that. You can load the stocks. I have a million charts open here. I don't want it to start jamming on me right now, NT8. 576 takes and do profit based on the less entry signal. We hit 100 tick on, on the YM, 58 ticks on the NASDAQ. 51 ticks on the ES and CL 106 ticks on the CL and uh, on the 30 year treasury bond five ticks. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh boy.
The EAS is given up, folks. If it's anybody on the EAS trade, the EAS hit the target, and uh, there is nothing left, guys. It's finished on the EAS. So if it's anybody on the EAS trade, run. Try to close it and run. It's finished. There is nothing left on the ES. And look, where is the target? The target 2925, 2925 is over. And then maybe there is a little more potential on the CL, but uh, I don't see anything on the NASDAQ. Wait a minute. We are coming to this area on the NASDAQ. Be careful, guys. It's not short on the NASDAQ if you are thinking to grab a short. There is a very good potential entry on the NASDAQ at 62.50. So it's not over. The party is not over on the long side with the NASDAQ. Do not take short. NASDAQ, do not take short right now. Uh, why am I sitting right after when we hit the, this is beautiful. I mean, right after we hit the target, there is nothing left. Look, after it hits the target, nothing has happened uh, to the YM. So we're waiting on Uncle ES to give us some direction. Uh, for the NASDAQ, there is a support line here. I don't want to call it from here. I like to call it from the 62.25. This is the re-entry point on the... You know, the system is drawing every single thing for you. It's predicting the entry. It's predicting the exit. It's predicting the pullback. It is one of the most accurate system you'll ever get is those lines, those $35 FIB zone. Honest guy, uh, guys, it's not about promotion and all this. We've been going live every day. Without a doubt, we have outperformed everybody. Nobody can even come near to our performance. And it is life. You can go back three months nonstop. It's life every, every day. But honest to God, if you cannot do it here, you cannot do it anywhere. Because that system is telling you your training stop is calculated, not a dummy training stop. It's drawing your re-entry point, is giving you the entry signal, and it's telling you where is your target. It's in a way taking you by your hand and leading you from A to B to C. You don't have to click on any chart. You don't have to do anything. The system is giving you the prediction constantly. If you fail on that, it is time for you to put the flag on the trading and uh, take the rest of the money, put them in Las Vegas on a table. You're either going to get rich or not. Because if this one here, very hard to trade, then there is nothing out there. I guarantee you, I challenge you to find anything over there greener than what you see here, guys. Look where we are predicting the NASDAQ. It's right there. Keep it, keep close. Watch this one here. This is where the pullback re-entry point on the NASDAQ, right there. Look at this. Look at this. Look where this NASDAQ stopped. Now they're trying to sell it. They're trying to break it, break this area. Look. You're always aware what's going on. You're always aware what's going on. They're pushing it down. Let's see. Now, this is our official re-entry point. Let's see if we're going to be generating any new signals.
this is our re-entry point, the buy safe entry on the NASDAQ. This is the safe entry, pullback re-entry on the ES. So you will not think it's this one here that happened by accident, folks. Okay? We have drawn everything on you. On those re-entry point, there are a genuine eight out of 10. And you have two out of 10 that will not make it, you know? If is anybody having a hard time looking at this number to photo re-entry and he cannot see it, this is really problem. This is really problem on, on behalf of the trader. I cannot have him, uh, you know, I cannot do anything about it. Seriously, I cannot. But uh, if you look at those videos, Every single day is the same story. Every single day is the same story. Every single day. So how hard it is to follow those lines and how long it's going to take you to learn those lines. I don't want to put you in a, in a trading room for one year. I will never do that again. Trying to teach uh, trading. But how hard it is to use the auto trade for an entry signal and on the pullback re-entry, you right click and put a trade. And those are cheap trades. Because once this market gets in here, like the ES and NASDAQ, if this market broke those area here, that's mean officially the NASDAQ and the ES is no longer long. Now we are getting a new signal short. As long as this ES and NASDAQ above the safe entry. We are long. We're thinking long. We're not thinking short. Most of the traders by now, your ATR, your MACD, your indicators are by now when you are get to here, whether you are using one minute, three minutes, or five minutes, or rank about in that matter. By the time you get here, all of them, your MACD and your ATR, your momentum, is pointing down. And this is where the trader follow those indicators and he thinks it's down. Now, sometimes they go down and he makes 10 ticks. Fine. He tried to do that five minutes later and it fell. When it is going down, when everybody is going down here, we are sitting here waiting to go long. So in a plain English, you're going the opposite direction of those amateur traders. In a plain, simple English, you are trying to go the opposite of the amateur traders. When everybody going short, you're sitting here, dug in the straight on a long trade. And this is now, the same thing happened on the ES, the same thing happened on the NASDAQ. And the same thing happened on the CL today. I called the trade on the CL. If you don't know which trade I called, If you still have a problem, get yourself a shrink, you know, because uh, because there is nothing. Who designed the software, Chris? Jesse Penny, uh, Chris. We got it out of Sears, eBay. Uh, NASDAQ uh, right now is going back to the pullback re-entry at uh, 57, 75. And now we are going back up again and we have a projection at 66.75. CL, 
We called that trade long time ago. I don't remember the number. And now we are going back again. And we're going to final destination on the CL is a 74.10. So the final destination on the CL is 74.10. Any other technical questions? Let me see. Exactly, sir, uh, Danielle, uh, when uh, this is a very, very straightforward, sir. Uh, when um, the auto trade take the entry signal, we have a new signal on the DAX. I don't know if anybody want to trade uh, DAX on um, Friday noon, but uh, this is the entry on the DAX. Uh, 219.5, exit 219.11. level. Uh, there is two ways, uh, Danielle. There is two ways you can trade uh, this one here. You can use, use uh, the signal entry, target, and done. Sometimes, like uh, as an example today, the NASDAQ did not go all the way to the target, sir. And then we experienced the pullback. So what I'm trying to say, even when you are auto trading and let's say you exit with your trail and stop and you got out of that trade or it hit the target, got out of that trade. Uh, there is a good potential, Daniel, to re-enter the market from here. When you re-enter the market from here, your stop losses is just a few ticks below. During this uh, time when the market is uh, above this line, You only think in long, you do not go short. You see, Daniel? And even when there is a, a retracement on the pullback re-entry, you wait till this market gets here and then you re-enter the market. Your chances is, Daniel, eight out of 10, it will be success trade. Now, sometimes this market fell and it break all those walls and, and now we are in a short trade and then you are on a, on a short signal. You know, so even if you have a losing trade, you recover immediately on the new signal on it. The potential on the pullback re-entry is extremely prof profitable, but you need to take it manually. Does it, uh, is it clear, sir, Daniel? The same thing happened on the ES. Sure, Daniel, we, we can do that, no big deal. We are 437 ticks into the profit, and uh, this is based on the last entry signal, and 
let me see. We're gonna hang around. Uh, for the Seren folks, uh, I cannot talk about Serens and explain Serens. Uh, on there is a new signal on a thirty-year Treasury bond. It has to be on Monday. I try to come, everyone on for the Seren. Try to come in on Monday onto the webinar, and we can sit down and talk about the Seren. Uh, there is so many systems, so many Seren, and I, I wanted to. Uh, I cannot sit down and explain every Seren here right now. So please try to join us on Monday webinars and ask us all members about any kind of setting you need help with. Uh, Thirty-year Treasury bond. We have a buy entry. By saying a buy entry, this means we are gonna be start losing momentum on Nasdaq, Dow Jones, ES, and the market is about to turn around. We have a buy entry on the thirty-year Treasury bond, and this is indicate the future market on the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones are going to be st start dropping. So if you are on a trade, uh, you need to start closing those trades on early, earliest point. And that matter, it, it seems like the first one is going to get a signal, it will be the NASDAQ. So we might going to have a new entry signal on the NASDAQ. This is the closest one to take a short. And um, uh, the market now is turning around, folks. And then we have the ES. Uh, it's fixing to give us a new signal. Sure, for any uh, members uh, don't have the link for Monday, uh, Skype me and I will be uh, sending you the link right, right away. If there's any of the traders don't have the link for Monday, please let me know, sir. Members only for Monday, if you need a link for Monday. Member only, please. And then from Tuesday to Friday, it is um, We're going to leave this one open, guys, uh, for a while, and uh, maybe we can get a new signal. Right now, we are 457 takes into profit based on the last signal, not all day long. 3,552. 
and uh, Danielle. Look, Danielle. Look, sir. You see, Danielle? Are you with me, Danielle? When everybody going short, Danielle, of course, they're going to get 10 ticks, 15 ticks, but they will never grab real money, you know. They will never grab a real money. And um, because by the time they their MACDs and ATRs and all those whatnots we've seen lately, by the time they get in into this, now the market is pulling back. It's going to knock them out of that trade. When they are going short, this is a pullback and confirmed by double support, sir. And this is a breakout. Always, always try to enter the market this way. You know, don't get excited over a stupid bar going up or down. This is noises, you know, because also we are using one minute. It's a very tight. But we have put on that one minute all those time high time frame. So it is a very tight chart one minute. So those uh, small noises comes uh, one bar above or below. This is noises, Danielle. Don't get excited with it. Be German about it. So on this one here, just a pullback, and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times was not able to break that area. That is going to ignite the the Nasdaq to retest different levels. You see, so the auto trade takes those trades, whether it hits the signal or you stopped out by a trend and stop is irrelevant. And then now we are going and climbing to those numbers here. The 69, it is one of them. And then uh, the 72 level. So once those market comes into those area, you have to watch it like a hog. Because either you need to say, you know what? I'm happy with that trade. I'm closing it. I'm done for today. Or The thing is, Danielle, you cannot sit all day long and trade. And this is the problem with most of the auto traders guys. They they have no sense if this market is flat or this market is moving. They just stay going in the circle whether this uh, this instrument today is moving or not. But actually, in the trading, once we catch what we want, we should not go back and sit on a blackjack table and go round, because as long as you are sitting on this blackjack table, you are risk in your account. You simply cannot sit 24 seven and trade. You're gonna end up losing. So what we need to do, trade in the high time, get our whatever we can grab out of that market today and get the hell out of Dutch. You simply cannot folks sit 12 hours a day, banging on the market and making money. And anyone's claim other way, Come here and show us how. Show us how you can sit 12 hours and make money. You cannot. Because during those daytime, there is a sideways, there is a chops, there is a breakout, there is pullback re-entry. The market comes in a different colors, a hundred different colors during the trading hours. And then we get tired. Even an auto trade get tired. It start, it start getting in a circle when there is no trend. So always when you are trading, thinking you are sitting in a Las Vegas, sitting on a blackjack, you cannot simply trade 12 hours a day and grab money. It's not like some kind of buffet table here, folks. You know, even on a buffet table, you get filled up. It's not a buffet table you sit and eat all day long. You know, once you're full, you pay and you get the hell out. And this is exactly how it is. With the trading, you simply cannot sit on a blackjack. Uh, try to go to Las Vegas. Can you sit all day long making money? Why you think you can predict the market all day long? You cannot. No one can. Don't let anyone fool you. You know those guys. They say they have. Uh, they trade the first couple hours and then they they go to the beach. I'm not sure about that. Probably have a fat, ugly wife, and he said to drink uh, vodka when he's done. I don't know. So don't don't uh, listen to this crap. You know, trading it is 
sometimes um, sometimes you have to sit all day long to find a trade, you know. And sometimes you're lucky you can be in and out. Like this gentleman today, Basharat, he got $350 on the B scalper I showed you guys. And he said, I'm done for today. He was the smartest guy, you know, and he, he was done. He closed his computer and carry on with his life. We're coming to new trade you know, on the ES. We have a new entry signal on the ES coming very soon. And then uh, we are uh, we are about to have a new signal. So we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay a little bit longer today, guys, and um, we're gonna get you the new signal. So stay around. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a glass of water. Uh, you will find the new signals here on the last, uh, on the first uh, column. You will see the signals uh, coming here. So keep your eye on this one here. We're about to have a new signal, and I'll be right back. Thank you.
there is a new signal guys be careful and uh thank you robert i hope you made it today you're out of the trades good and uh, we are looking for a new signal guys and we we're staying a bit longer today We're waiting on a new signal, guys. If we are going short right now, that trade is going to be uh, the rest of the day, that trade. So we're going to keep our head to it. And uh, the CL trade, we're still on 20, 23.40 on that trade on the CL. There we go, we're coming. Uh... To new signal. We have a new signal on the Russell. Entry price 1700, uh, target 96.9. This is a new signal on the Russell. And we're about to have a new signal on the ES. 
and we are also gonna get NASDAQ is still a little bit up and OIM is still a little bit up. So the only one we have is the Russell entry uh, sell at uh, 17.078, target 96.6. So we're trying to get you the signals before we log in, uh, log off today. If there's any of the members is going to take the ES, let me know, please. Uh, now we are coming to the ES, NASDAQ, uh, and no, the YM is still a little bit far behind. So we're not going to get a signal, but we are about to get a new signal on the ES. And it could be NASDAQ as well. Okay, well, they are holding. Well, uh, I guess, uh, I think we are done for today. It was a beautiful day, a very nice, smooth. Everybody made money. Everybody leaving here today, happy. Right now, we, we are on 430 takes. Based on the last entry signal, 3,486 is right there, based on one contract. And we're not gonna get a new signal on the ES. It looks like it's gonna stay, now it's 12 o'clock. I don't know what will happen at one. But, uh, but this is it. That's all what we have for today. Uh, Monday for our traders, if you don't have the link for Monday, if you want to ask about Saturn, anything, uh, it will be covered on Monday. Uh, we are extremely busy today. So uh, if somebody that wants support, uh, we can send you to installation support. We have guys that do that. If you want to, the new traders with us, 
they need help one on one we are glad to help just we will take one at a time and then once we are done with one we'll go to the other one so thank you very much it was a beautiful week uh, very nice and uh, uh, and then uh, we will go back again live on tuesday i want to say thank you for all the compliments we've been getting and all the information, all the feedback we've been getting. There is nothing but positive. Thank you very much. Also, we have a lot of people are not non-members. They are following us on the YouTube and they've been getting very good results. Thank you. And uh, that's all what we can say. Uh, everything speaks itself. I don't have to say anything. It's all right in front of you. There is not that many companies that can come in and show everything doing the trading hours they only sit in the corners come out at night so we are proud for what we have done we are proud we have helped some people we are proud to give a free education and uh, we cannot win everybody's heart but we did 99 percent, and that i'm very happy with thank you very much wish you a very very nice weekend and uh, see you all on a uh, YouTube live again on Monday, all the way to Friday. God bless you all, and see you another day. Bye for now.